Ryu has won his first Super Major off of the back of Kusanagi's win at UFA 2024 in Street Fighter 6, which is the first time a Ryu has won a major of a fighting game in so, so long. Ashimo followed it up with a win at Sumabato for this month. You know, it was a Super Major. There were a ton of good players there, including Akala, Akakikusu, the two players are going to be watching, as well as her, Yoshi, Dora, Meister, so many amazing players, Raru, Snow, the list goes on and on and on. So we're going to be watching the two sets I mentioned, Winners Finals versus Akakikusu, who beat Akala in Winners, and then Grand Finals versus versus Akola, who made it back there. Both Ashimo and Aka have had incredible seasons recently. They've been playing incredibly well, and both of them in winner's finals had the chance to win their first Super Major here. I feel like the winner of this obviously has a huge benefit when it comes to the grand final situation, having to beat whoever makes it back twice, which at this point was still most likely to be Akola. Uh, I don't think either player had beaten Akola before. Actually, maybe Aka had beaten Akola, but I know Ashimo has never beat Akola. But starting off with a very, very even game, but this ledge pressure is so terrifying. If you watched, Ashimo at um, either like it was it didn't matter Supernova or um whatchamacallit, uh, Riptide, his ledge trapping is just so terrifying. It was the thing that separated him and uh, Iken in the ditto which they played. Forder trying to do some type of special cancel if he needs to, but not needing to. Both players pretty high percents, but at this point, Ryu has much better kill potential when no buffs are online. For Hero, that backer almost killed, and the zoom way back. Like, we just watched Zachary beat uh, Akka at 7th place, I believe, at whatever major is that. The dash attack YOLO. Oh my god, that was a crazy high dash attack. Uh, so Akka, again, top 8 in a major super recently. Or sorry, the premier, not a super major. Uh, or even a major, the premier, and now back in top three at this super major, which is absolutely incredible. Both players just so, so good. Ashimo got, I believe, fourth at Supernova, which was very impressive. These jabs are so good. Akka's movement, like, the top two heroes in terms of Akka and Beast Mode Paul are just so good at finding the places to do jabs, but Ashimo finds back airs like literally no other. Fair, no Hadouken. Gonna combo there, but hard SDI away. Ends up doing run and fastball off of the ledge to make sure he does not get hit by anything from Ryu there. Great counterplay, but the red fireball. Oh, tries to spot dodge the hits, but Akka still able to get hit three. There's the fair. Yeah, and up air here might be lethal. I guess it depends on the position, but up air is crazy. The fireball. See, there's the spot dodge that he was looking for in order to get uh, around the jab timings. I think there has to be times with that for, like, cross slash as well. <sighs> Finds the up tilt. That was a crazy, crazy landing call. Just knowing exactly where that hero was going to be able to go, even with Accelerattle. So that recognition has to be super high there. Gets the double up tilt. Up air. Cancel into Shoryu. That's going to be a stock lead for Ashimo. Ooh, try to get the downer two frame, I like that, but gonna be just weak down tilt, heavy down tilt, uh, fireball, 25%. The ledge, so hard to deal with, not good enough, pick a better option. There's the zoom. There's an up air, not gonna get anything more, but gonna be down smash into Hadoken. actually doesn't reach, the Hadoken doesn't uh, quite have enough fireball distance. Okay, down throw, up air, no, the focus, frame one, but the forward air chase, great stuff by Akka. 86% on him though, so like most, I don't know if Ashori will kill with no rage. Uh, no, but now it for sure will after that, down tilt strong, down tilt Tatsu. No zoom there. Tried to find a backer, but the air dodge from Akka was very, very good, run up jab. Trying to find anything big here, whether it's a buff or a big spell. Shield pressure. I love that parry, but not going to be able to get the dash up down tilt whether he wanted, or the dash up jab maybe. That back air hit, that was crazy. 138. This is really, really scary. Gets the zoom. A lot of kill potential for Ryu in this instance. A back air will do it. Uh, it's just so many things will do it at this point. Mostly it would be confirms into his specials. Uh, but also it could just be a YOLO Tatsu. Imagine if he Tatsu threw a fireball, tries to red fireball there, doesn't get it, and every single time he jabs that lets Akka get a spell, that's gonna be a Sizz, that's gonna be Psych Up, so now we have shield pressure, what are we gonna do? <gasps> Baits the Uppy but doesn't punish, and there's the giant fireball, I forget what it's called. Now this is last hit for both, great air dodge by Ashimo, and I expected a, a, some type of air dodge or roll or something did Akka, so he wasn't ready for just the nothing, and then the back air gonna be so good. Game one, Ashimo. 
Before we continue to this next game, I just want to say that I'm a free agent now because Stride kind of dissolved, so I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel. I'm going full in on content and trying to practice and streaming and all that type of stuff, so subscribe to see more videos and streams. I would appreciate it. Let's get back to Ashimo kicking butt. Game two, gonna go to Battlefield. So I think these platforms are going to just disallow some uh, approaches for Ryu, considering, ah, eh, you know, his full hop does land on platforms. So that is always something important to note. Uh, and of course, you definitely want the space if you are hero. Okay, there's Zoom. Buddha. Oh, gets the up air. That's the scary thing though about, oh, not able to get the kill combo there, but still good damage. It's really scary to uh, counter pick Ryu to Battlefield because he can get up air combos to hell. Easy too, because it doesn't even have to IDJ. I love, dude. His short hop air dodges have been crazy for positioning because you have to be so fast to like, oh, Jesus, that was so good. The air dodge was crazy. The track down there after the down air, just damn, that was good. Ashimo's crazy. <laughs> He's so insane. Oh, parried up he had a shield. No true shore. He just wants the punish in general. That's a huge lead for Ashimo. Basically lapping in percent. The kaboom not going to work. So about 30 MP down or 40, however much it takes. Half MP right now for Akko, which is still fine. Like, half MP is a lot of MP. No side B, great air dodge. Ashimo's reactions with these air dodges have been insane. I noticed that as well at Supernova and Riptide. He's just good at it. Ooh, get up there gets the double down tilt into the Tatsu. Not going to be a kill, but still good damage. Again, basically having lapped percent before Akko got that forward air. So, punish out of shield? Nope. Shield pressure? Nope. Just... The shields are scary right now. Oh god, that empty jump. The thing is, like, in these positions, something that is really, really important is that a lot of times in these positions, when you whiff here, as, like, Akka is doing, you go, oh god, I have to hold shield, I have to do some type of defensive option. Um, and, of course, Ashimo being like, hey, I don't know if I can actually get a punish. He definitely couldn't, actually. He just goes for the empty jump, because typically you're going to hold shield and then try to react immediately afterwards and do something, you know, slightly more safe. But just Ashimo catching it, and the empty jumps have been so good. There's another Tatsu. Super going to kill, especially because of that Accelerattle. No kabooms working right now. Basically nothing working for Akka other than his run-up jabs, basically. The pressure here is insane. The attempted cornering of of, of Accelerattle Hero is insane and unheard of. Not even able to get the kill there. The Sizz is going to be air dodged. They're going to be the tech. You should die there. There's a crit too for good measure. But God, Ashimo is dominating this game too. I, I personally ban Battlefield and Small Battlefield versus Ryu. I don't want him to have those platforms and those combos. Because sometimes when he wants to be... never seen that combo. Sometimes when he wants to be campy, he can shoot his fireballs under uh, the platforms. And it's really, really hard to approach him. And then he has like those nares that can just be so, so tricky. And the back air. I don't know if Akka tried to shield here. It's hard to tell if he tried to just like let whatever go. It doesn't look like he picked it because his MP didn't go down, but maybe he just tried to time it perfectly, expected some type of bait, I don't know. But that backer does come out. Not gonna be the kill though, but the next one surely will, or just up B out of shield. Ashimo, 2-0. Goes back to Battlefield. Honestly, that's crazy. I think Battlefield is a crazy pick to go back to after you did worse here than game one. Like go back to the game one stage, not here, I don't understand. And yeah, Ashimo's starting off really strong, yet again parries the Crackle Slash, which is insane. He's parrying things that have literally infinitely variable timing. He's just he's just killing it right now, and he's killing this hero. Yeah, the red fireballs to also mitigate the uh, fireball game from Akka, one of his best attributes as a player. And he's just str oh, runs into the zoom. What are you going to get? Just a forward smash, 27%, and either way, even with that, Ashimo is still quite a big lead. Psych up is online, so shield is a little bit scarier. Again, getting rid of a kaboom for a red fireball that you can constantly do. No, didn't get the Shoryu either, but wow, that back air auto-canceled? Or does it have just have that little landing Like It really looked like it auto-canceled. Yeah, damn, that was crazy. So that is going to be an entire, like, not an entire stock lead, but a very healthy stock lead for Ashimo. And again, he's just not letting Akka do anything. He's got hit by a couple uppies, a couple jabs. What else? What else has it been? The snooze forward smash, right? Okay, good damage right now for Akka, trying to get this edge guard as well. But the focus in the recovery makes it a little bit difficult. Couldn't fireball at the end of the combo, so he does go for that Tatsu. Tried to nair, not gonna work, and Akka getting back to center, crazy empty land there by Akka, that was so good. 
Yeah, dude, Ashimo's fireball game, like, he knows how to, like, deal with positioning so well. Like, every position, that's going to be side B, going to be multiple hits there. So that is stock for Akka, but down 58% up air. What are you going to get? Focus up there. No crumple, though. You're yeah, trying to get the weak F-tilt so we can combo into back air. Not going to get it. There's the Nairs. Like, Ryu gets to simplify the game so much because his gameplay is relatively simple in terms of, like, neutral. It's just like, I'm going to Nair, I'm going to Down Tilt, uh, I'm going to Fireball, and yet Ashimo is just able to take these tools that are relatively simple, add in a little bit of flair, and just dominate other top players in the world. Air Dodge is into that Fireball, though, which is not going to be what you want. Oomph is online, so this is a timer, so Ashimo probably going to be a little bit more passive, uh, choosing not to, actually. Okay, there's a fireball. Doing a lot of these RARs to just threaten the back air. Dude, look at this movement. Ashimo didn't throw out a move for like five seconds after this. I think he does a back air like here or red fireball. And then from 436, he just doesn't do anything and then gets the quick little slingshot or RAR. I don't know what it is, but I'm assuming it's slingshot. Just so clean because again, you will turn around every time you land Ashimo up again. No, Snooze again. He's only got hit by Snooze. I feel like the only spells that he's gotten hit by in entirety of the set have been Snoozes, which is so weird. Yeah, ledge jump is going to be what you want to do. Tried to Kara down smash Tatsu? Not Kara. Is it Kara? Yeah, I think it's Kara when you do the down smash cancel. Okay, Accelerator online for Ashimo, which is going to be very good for him off stage right now. Finally has the lead back this game, but there's going to be Nair forward air. Still going to get damaged. Tried to track. Should have maybe done a forward air instead of that down air. Uh, but either way, great stuff right now for Akka. He's taken this stock no problem so far. 117. There's going to be a charge and gets the crit, so it broke through the armor anyway. 2-1. Going to go to Hollow Bastion is Ashimo, which I think makes a lot of sense. You do have that center plat. It is battlefield height, so you are able to extend your combos hella. You're able to play a center platform game, which is something Ryu really loves to do. Uh, honestly, Ashimo's playing really well that game, and then Akka Kikusu just had a crazy last stock. Uh, so I would still be confident not if I was him, but at the same time, Hero's really swingy and scary, so you have to just constantly be on one bad position against a Hero can literally be the entire set. Nair gonna be safe, but not to up B. Maybe he tried to do something else. There's another Snooze, dude. Up B out of shield in the middle. Very good stuff for Ashimo there. 108 isn't isn't too hard to get this kill yet. Ledge jump, of course, is going to be the option there. I wonder if we're going to see Ashimo start going for like raw back airs to try to catch the ledge jump timing because that is what he normally does. Accelerator oomph is going to be so much damage. Tries to get some run up pressure, but again, up the out of shield on these jabs. Not a lot of percent again with oomph giving you more damage. That means more knockback. So of course that focus is going to kill. Gets a crazy focus there. Parry, down smash, and a Hadouken. That's going to be 40, sorry, 35%, not 45%. I was about to say. Yep, there's going to be the super safe Nair, not punishable uh, by, I'm assuming this Uppy. Yeah, I think Hero tried to go for an Uppy, which I don't blame him for. That is correct. It's what's been working before, but, uh, you know, if you do the Nair safe enough, it is minus two or three, I believe. So not going to be able to punish that. Okay, gets the back dash. So he is able to down smash that. So again, there is the lead for Ashimo doesn't get the good weak four tilt hit. I didn't even know there was a bad one, to be honest. And again, trying to catch these air dodges while he has Accelerator from ledge, which is honestly insane that he even goes for it. There's a focus, gonna grab back ledge. Thwack, not gonna work. Upbeat? No? Okay. Yeah, dude, he's getting these like, I don't know if it's just low lag or if he's auto canceling these backers. It is really hard to tell. Okay, it's definitely not an auto cancel. It just does not have like any lag. How many frames of landing lag does that have? 10 frames of landing lag? That does not look like that. What is happening? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the. I guess what happens is the. Even though this is 60 FPS of a video, it's not actually. It wasn't recorded in 60 FPS. Uh, so that looked much faster than it was. Oh, okay. Getting some good spells. It, yeah, great spell lineup for. Um, Akka, I believe it was a Sizz. Yeah, it was Bounce into Sizzle into Kaboom. That looked perfect for Hero. That is going to be last stock even. Bounce online means that no red fireball can come out right now, but gets an up air. So we have the pressure. Nice empty land again by Akka. Love that down smash after the Nair, though, by Ashima getting good damage. Landing up air for Hero. Very, very rare. That's still comboed. Yeah, this is really scary. If you get hit by, like, an up tilt from, like, under plat, I think you're just dead because you get, like, 
uh, you know, like Nair up tilt into like up air, up air land on plat, and then up air shore you or something. So this is really, really scary if you are Akka. That's why you see Ashimo just run forward. He wants to get this hit. Misses the up air there. No psych up online anymore. There's the Nair forward smash attempt, but not gonna work. It was a little too high in the air for that to combo. There's a red fireball chunking down the fireball, stopping any uh, spell reading you are going to do. I love that was the first trump of the entire uh, set so far. Gets the down tilt on the roll, but it was the maximum range. Tried to down her two frame for Akka, not gonna work. This is a scramble right now, but again, Ryu has so much higher kill potential. That back here, it killed at 99 on Hero. I feel like Hero's pretty heavy. Like again, this is basically the neutral we saw earlier that I pointed out, just finding these spots where Hero's gonna run back and down B and Ashimo was just able to find it with yet another back air. So that is a 3-1 in winner's finals to advance to grand finals where Akola was trudging along in losers after losing to Akakikusu in winner's quarters. So now we have Ashimo versus Akola. So the only time prior to this that Ashimo was ever able to take a set off of Akola was the first set of grand finals at Kagiribi number nine, which was quite a while ago and then other than that it has been very very dominant for Akola literally winning every other set until yesterday. So at this point Ashimo had to overcome a 12 and 1 set record versus Akola and could he do it to win his first super major? I already said what happens at the beginning of this video but if you didn't notice it then hey you know whatever. This matchup definitely seems super difficult. I feel like you are able to kind of play the scrapping game a little bit with Steve, but Steve's buttons are just better. I do like the fact that you get to use your aerials and uh, special cancel them on the crafting table. That is very, very interesting. The edge guarding is super rough for Ryu. Yo, oh my God, I thought Akola was planking for a sec. I was about to go crazy. Yeah, I tried to notice the drop shield. What kind of, co that combo was so good by Akola. That was incredibly freestyle and impressive. Didn't notice the footstool fast enough, so not able to get uh, the footstool down air. Just trying to down smash to get rid of this crafting table. Expend some of that. Oh, no, not far enough off stage to get the true uh, kill thing. Dude, he's nilling. He's nil F smashing. That's crazy. Akola swinging for the fences right now. Up tilt up smash. It killed. That one didn't look like it was going to kill. Why do you get to do that? That's so crazy. The fact that he can react to that is honestly insane. Gets the roll though, good DI by Akola, so he was not able to get the Tatsu to get the kill. There's the back air though. Again, that movement with those quick little slingshots have been everything for Ashimo, uh, as, at least in the set we just watched. And now the first stock against Akola. Gonna get rid of Crafting Table. He rolls in, gets more combo. Great SDI by Akola, but not able to get around the full combo, but does get a little cross up. Anvil gonna combo into that? Crazy, and the uh, PBR there. Akola Steve is so fast, dude. Okay, gets the Tatsu, so not able to get that edge guard is Akola, but I do know it can be bad. Just one strong down tilt. Dude, he's playing crazy. They're both just swinging and Akola actually like not camping even a little bit. Like he's actually just running forward and that is going to cost him the stock. Okay, gold online is going to promote this probably little mashy playstyle a little bit more just because the frame data is like so dumb. Okay, finally, that got rid of all the blocks or almost got rid of all the blocks, but like you got rid of the two wood blocks in one hit and then you get to special cancel it. That's honestly crazy. I didn't realize Ryu had such a good way to deal with walls, to be honest. Yeah, you do have to respect that out of shield. You can't footstool out of shield uh, ground moves, so no ability to footstool dare these um, down tilts or forward tilts or anything like that. That's going to be more solid damage, 78% on Akola. That's going to be, yeah, Anvil. He tried to red fireball where Akola was going to be on that Anvil. He didn't even try to hit the Anvil. That was honestly insane. Going for the up tilts, tried to react and get a down smash. Not going to work. Again, not able to footstool out of shield, just trying to hope that that worked. It didn't forward smash. Not going to be the stock yet, though, but still... Two stocks, 104, this is looking good, finally. I haven't seen an ally trend up smash in a long time, but that is going to be the stock for a cola. 100% is a pretty rough task. That connected? That was really far, I feel like, and Akola was definitely mashing SDI away. Yeah, you see him hit two SDI inputs on this down tilt, which is very, very good, but not enough to get away from that Shoryuken. 1-0 Ashima.
Akala going to counterpick to FD, no platforms for any platform extensions for this Ryu. Uh, of course, you are also going to be mining with Shovel, which doesn't take any of your durability away from your grounded tools. And as we've seen, Akala is attacking a lot. So, you know, he definitely wants to have those as available as possible. Double down air stall because of the lack of iron, or maybe the anvil is just out. I don't know, because he definitely does have iron. Okay, gets more. That's honestly crazy. Not maximizing his combo, though. Missing the forward air or back air at the end. Uh, could have been more, but not going to work. Okay, gets a hit. These auto can I feel like Akola just never misses his auto cancels if he just... He just doesn't miss the auto cancels. He's getting a lot of up airs, but focusing through that, ow, still so much damage. Again, he's now trying to hit these nils, which I personally am a huge fan of. It's interesting, I feel like one of those things, like, Akola is doing them more, which is, like, he's messing it up sometimes, but at the same time, he knows that, like, in theory, he needs to do this to stay ahead of everyone, because even, like, without them, he was slightly faltering. That was so fast, Ashima was crazy. So I like the fact that he's going for these nils, even if it's costing him some advantage states that he normally would have. Yeah, you're able to focus dash around that. Gets hit by Anvil, though, it's 22%. No grab coming out for Akola, which is what I expected. So Ashima able to run forward, does get hit by that. Uh, oh no, only one up air. That's not that bad. Yeah, he's getting hit by a lot of downers. Akala mixing up his timings for what he wants to do very, very well. Honestly, mashing Anvil a little bit, so... Oh yeah, hit the dash, I believe, of that. So unfortunate for uh, Ashimo. Still down like 50%, but it's nothing you can't come back from. I think he tried to nil into forward smash. That would honestly would have been crazy. Another anvil, but forward air out of shield. Not worried about the landing hitbox because of the spacing. Yeah, he's trying to get these nils, which I'm a huge fan of. Uh, I, I mean, again, I love Steve nil combos. That's like the cool thing about Steve, so... Ashimo though has Akala at high percent is going to probably yeah anvil down which is just difficult for Ryu to deal with in general but not gonna be oh damage on Ashimo yet Hadoken pinging with the up tilt no shovel online right now but again that doesn't really matter that much but gets the jab on this little back up by Akala yeah the jab back up he didn't expect the roll so that is going to be basically even Steve does have diamond online nice forward air to hit out of the minecart, no tech chase online for uh, Akala there. Didn't want to commit to the far option. The back dash, not going to get away from it. Auto cancels, very scary. Forward smash at ledge will kill here for Steve. Because Diamond is crazy. Yeah, I love those little auto cancel forwarders off of the anvil. His his patterns are getting faster, which is really, really scary to deal with. And yet, Ashimo's up 1 0, you know what I'm saying? Diamond online, if he needs it, Nair. The raw Nair into back air was honestly insane. I didn't even notice that he jumped backwards. So great stuff by uh, Ashimo. He's at 75, he has Akala at 75%. So this is about even. I mean, both characters have really good kill potential. The forward smash not gonna work. Tried to get a Nair. Anvil not quite gonna kill. Ah. No, Nair gets the empty jump. That's what I'm talking about. You see Ashimo relieved that his empty jump worked. Even the first jab actually hit Akala's uh, shield, so he was ready for it, but just not quite ready enough. 2-0 for Ashimo. He is one game away from winning his first Super Major. I don't remember if he's won a Major before, but he, this will be his first Super Major, and again, beating his demon, right? I mean, I would say, like, the hard thing about Ashimo is he's done really well at a ton of events, but he always loses to someone like Mia or someone like Akala. Again, at this point, it was 12 and 1 in Akala's favor. I'm sure Mia, Mia's record is also incredibly strong versus him. Uh, so it is so hard to like reach these final stages of these tournaments and then just end up not going like end up not being able to do anything about it uh, because these two players are just insane. But up 2-0 is huge. However, Akala up basically 100% of this game, so you got to be careful there. That's gonna be good damage though. Tatsu and also destroys the wall. Is Megalovania on? Hell yeah. Yeah, basically evening it up. No anvil because of the lack of. Ooh, the lack of uh, iron online, so gets the punish on the up smash. That was honestly a crazy read for Akala. You see him shake his head. He's like, I shouldn't have been doing that. Like, down 2-0, you don't really see Akala shaking like this. Yeah, back air. Wow, that didn't kill. That's crazy. Oh, I thought he had diamond. I didn't realize it was stone. I thought it was diamond 100%, so I was like, I can't believe that diamond back air didn't kill at 130. It was not. That's why. Nice auto cancel, or sorry, edge cancel by Akala, but again, Ashimo with the lead. I don't know what the set count is today, so I don't know what games they win. 
Yeah, so much damage right now. Ooh, gets hit by the minecart there. Great parry for Aqua. This is going to be a lot of damage. No messes up the auto cancel there of all places. Up air, sure, you not going to kill, but the next one surely will. But that down air, I don't like. I feel like Aqua is doing that down air a lot, which is like fine. It's like correct. So I'm not like critiquing him. Yeah, you're going to be able to do a second one. Uh, but I don't know why Ashimo is running into all those downers, considering it's like all Akala is doing in that disadvantage state. Tatsu not going to work there because of the block. <gasps> the up throw! So the only time you actually really see this hitbox is in doubles or against ice climbers, where there is a second climber. But that, uh, when Ryu does his up throw, he kicks them up and there's a hitbox down. It will never hit on a normal up throw. But because the block and Akala teched it, he was able to get that kill. It's like so strong. It does like so much percent too. Like how much percent? He was at 121 when he got grabbed. The normal up throw put him to... It's hard to tell, 135, and then the other hit hit him to 154. So that is a very, very niche specific hitbox. I've never seen it in singles except against Ice Climbers. But Steve, sometimes you get those weird interactions, and Ashimo officially with the lead. Oh, Akalo taking it back. Again, that edge guard that happened will be huge if Akala manages to get another one. Simplifies his combo, just does for up tilt back air at the end of that. And that is going to be corner position. See, that's why I was so surprised when Diamond back air didn't kill from the other situation, which I thought was Diamond back air. But this makes sense now. It is 2-1 Ashimo. See, Ashimo himself counterpicking to Battlefield, which I like as a counterpick. Again, I think it's a really good Ryu stage. This is why I was a little confusing that Akka was counterpicking here. Quickly cancels whatever move he used to hit uh, the blocks into that Hadouken or Red Fireball. I forget which one it was. And now we have a percent lead already. Is Akala ledge camping? Bro? Akala's doing that? And yet this is a video about Ashimo? That's crazy. Yeah, he's camping. Uh, but again, Ryu having like really, really good tools to deal with these walls, actually, at least until it gets to stone, uh, which is why you see. Uh, oh, double down air. Crazy SDI by Akola. That was insane. Anyone else I feel like is dying there. Look at how many SDI inputs did he get? One? I think he got, yeah, two SDI inputs, unless there's a third one. No, just the two, but if he only got one, I'm pretty sure that would have put. Uh, him off stage, no combo there, and not gonna get the Shoryu, but the Tatsu is gonna kill. This is a really strong start for Ashimo. Ouch, gets that dash attack. Again, Akala is able to get edge guard, so it is very, very scary for Ryu basically this whole time, because if there's one good offstage position for Akala, that can be the entire stock in evening up the game and keeping this set alive for him. But right now, Ashimo just trying to find a way in. Minecart not gonna work. Yes, it seems like stone is a little bit harder to deal with for sure. That's gonna be a power rail. There's another one. Down tilt, strong down tilt, red fireball. Red fireball again, trying to catch stuff. No gold on mine anymore, so this is going to be a lot worse for this disadvantage state. Oh, but going to top plat, very smart. I love that downer attempt. Oh, and gets the oh, gets the uh, poke or the you know the hit of the downer. I don't know if it was like a shield poke. I don't think it was. Gets the up air there for the Shoryu. He's up literally an entire stock. Ashimo's just playing this so cleanly. Akala struggling to get back down, but finally does. He doesn't want to just like commit super hard. That focus killed in one hit. That's honestly insane. Again, Ryu surprisingly good. Definitely the best FGC against Steve, it seems like, just because strictly of like the way he's able to deal with uh, walls specifically. Because like none of the other Shotos I feel like can do it particularly well without giving up a ton of space. Now this next forward air can be something before it smashes through it. So Akala finally taking Ashimo's first stock. No diamond online. So if Ashimo is able to get this kill, Akala will not have diamond for his next stock, at least at the beginning. I don't know where he is on his lineup either. I don't remember if he got gold, but that's good damage. Great SDI, but tried to mash, and therefore Akala able to get that back air. Great stuff by him. Tries to do something a little cheeky with getting back into that uh, mine cart, but not going to work. And again, these downers have been everything. <gasps> the block! The block! Blocking this kill! Up air Shoryu would have been the kill, but the DI in from Akala, just letting uh, Akala live just a little bit longer. That absolutely would have been the stock. Okay, Ashimo takes the stock anyway. I was about to say this would be tragic. Diamond is online for this last stock, so Ashimo does have to be careful trying to get some poke on top plat, but you can get downered up there. It is so scary. Hatsu gonna get it. Oh, Akala just like didn't get up for a while, which was interesting. Gets tries to get more pressure. Oh, a lot of his iron moves there. It is so so scary. There's minecart. There's nothing. 
kind of just cycling these positions over and over again quickly getting rid of both layers of wall basically but not really getting hit which is great for Ashimo, he's using a lot of his moves to kind of make it ambiguous when he's going to break the blocks or what he's going to do, especially with these special cancels with everything. It's just been so, so difficult for Akala to really get a read on what is happening. I mean, Akala only has 28%, so if he gets one good hit, that is going to be the lead for Akala, but 60% right now on him. So Ashimo, if he gets a single, like if he gets a good hit, that could potentially be the entire tournament. What a forward smash, crazy. Up air, yeah, not gonna be the hit. He only got hit two because Akala wasn't close enough to get hit by the first hit of up air. Gets hit by that minecart, that's gonna be bad. Yeah, tries to get the anvil, gets up tilt back here though, has to Tatsu, so not as many options. No focus, expected Akala to be reading it. That is going to be two, two, the edge guards of this matchup. That is, like the edge guards are what seem to make this matchup so good for Steve. I'm gonna go back to Battlefield for this game Five. If Akala wins this game, he resets the bracket, has the momentum, probably wins the tournament. But what does Ashimo have to say about it? Oh, Red Fireball on the TNT actually blows up Akala. I didn't think about that. That makes sense. It's fire. Back air. Yeah, not a lot of landing lag, so that is going to be just a really safe poke uh, to get rid of these walls. Up air for Steve. Not going to be able to be more because there was no double jump online. Ouch. Diamond already up for... Uh, Akala, which is insane, like to have that already. Like, he's not going to go into it, but he just has it in general. Tries to get the grab at Ashimo, mashing out that down tilt. This ledge trapping, what can he do? The get up attack for Akala. Ballsy. Forward air. No up air. Oh, not even a punish at all. Goes for the up B out of shield. Barely is safe from Akala's pressure. The nil is going to hit anyway, even though Ashimo teched away. Why does Ashimo get hit by the silliest positions? for Akala, but again, he's getting these nils, which is honestly terrifying. Him, he, he was the best player in the world without them, so Akala nilling is very, very scary. It feels like he's letting Ashimo get these, <gasps> oh, gets the, oh, no, and then the good mash by Akala. He was trying to find an air dodger hit or something. Uh, just not gonna be it. These raw nares are not gonna work either. No back airs. And this is a position where I would be so confident. If I was watching this live, that Akala would just run away with this and then reset the bracket. Empty jump there, no back air. There's the up air one, sure you. That felt so far. I feel like that was like the tipper spacing, so I'm a bit surprised that it's sweet spotted. So that is going to be even stocks. Akala, not able to get his diamond quite yet, is swinging instead, but hey, that is a bit of time that Ashimo does not have to worry about uh, this super scary. Arrows gets up air combos, not going to get anything there. Down air, not going to be the spike, but again, this is 73%, no diamond online, so at this point, does Akala even go for diamond? I think you save it for next stock, unless you get a really, really good hit or like far into your cycle, but not able to mine basically anything this entire stock. I don't even know if he's mined a single mat. Had the jab, jab, goes for the shore, you there, but no down smash for Akala to punish. Down tilt. Do you get it here? No, you go for the edge guard, but the Tatsu, Akala's been slightly off dealing with these Tatsus all over the blocks, basically consistently back here. That's gonna be the stock. No diamond was online. Now diamond is going to be online, but taking an iron crucial here, the reason you get rid of the crafting table is so that when you spawn in that crafting table, it does take materials and the iron was the first thing that it took there. So that is going to be last stock for Ashimo. How much damage can they get? Ow, fair into bear gets the double jump read. Oh, that was honestly. Oh, wait, how did that? How did that minecart even go? Oh, it hit the top. It hit the. It hit the top of the block wall and then touched. No, I don't. I guess it didn't touch the accelerator uh, again. But I think Ashim or Akala's body being there pushed the minecart forward just a little bit, and so it did end up scooping him. That was honestly some Steve shenanigans. Okay, gonna recraft his diamond. Last stock, game five. Ashimo doesn't want to do something stupid. He's waiting for those uh, minecarts. Got the hit. Didn't believe in the second jab, so Akala does not get a bigger punish. Fireball. Nothing. Up throw. Ooh. Oh my god, his shield was so small. If he did, like, literally anything, I'm pretty sure that would have broken shield. Uh, but obviously, Akala, seeing that his shield was super small, is going to jump away. 
the TNT, not TNT, sorry, the Anvil of Aqua actually getting in the way when he wants to get that punish, so isn't able to, gets the full hop Nair into the down tilt combo fireball. Oh, terrible angle. Not going to be able to get the follow-up, though. Two awkward trades, which is still good in theory for Aqua, but that one, I don't know. 108, I mean, he does have diamond, so the diamond will kill pretty, or like, next backer will kill unless it's from literally across stage. This disadvantage is so scary. Up smash! It didn't kill! Ashimo needs one hit to get this kill. <gasps> Aerodon just threw! He's dead! And Ashimo wins game five, popping off, winning his first super major. It might have been his first major, period. Beating his demon, or one of his demons, in Aqua to win that. But I do want to highlight, I did call it out a little earlier against Aka. He did a short hop, uh, just air dodge through a scary position. Is able to get it there through the Steve auto cancel back air due to the fact that uh, Aqua was on that block. And he didn't fast fall early enough. Didn't fast fall at all, I don't think, actually. Uh, because you normally don't have to in these positions if you're on the floor but because the anvil disappeared he actually needed to fastball for it to be safe and that is what allowed Ashimo to get that punish of course congratulations to him he's been working so hard he's been doing so well this season and to have a super major under his belt again not a lot of people have that yet this season because the season is still pretty new uh but Ashimo one of the victors of a super major this season I don't know what else is going to happen dude smash has been so good recently it's been honestly insane to watch and so many good players are doing fantastically thank you all for watching. Let me know what else you want me to watch. I'm probably going to be covering uh, at least some of Akka's run or Meister's run from this tournament. I'm not 100% sure which, but thank you all for watching. As always, social media and stuff is down below, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.